Hello everybody, this is Jason. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. I post content related with WebRTC, JavaScript and Golang. If this interests you, please hit that subscribe button and stay updated. In this lesson, uh, we're going to build a uh, WebRTC many to many video conference app, okay, with um, Pion, Ion and Vue.js. Okay, basically it is an extension of my last tutorial, okay, uh, we've showed you how to do a one too many um, broadcast already. Okay, so uh, really what we're going to do in this uh, lesson is we're going to clone this code from last session and we're going to do some uh, really, really, really little modification, okay. Alright, let's bring in the terminal, okay, what we're going to do here, uh, hold on, before we do that, let's copy this first. What we're going to do is we're going to get clone this, get clone, and oops, sorry about that, get clone that, and we want to call this uh, vjs client, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we'll just wait till this finishes. The reason I'm entering password, even I'm doing my, uh, what do you call it, cloning, is because I'm in an org that requires two auth. So that's that's the reason why. So you, you, there's no reason for you to do this. All right, um, let's get into the directory, js client. And let's open that in Visual Studio Code. Okay, before we go any further, uh, let's go and grab all the stuff we're just by running yarn, okay, and that will download all the node modules okay let's open up the view app and the header and the video call okay firstly we'll make some adjustment okay and the uh, header first okay what we we'll just have to get rid of um, you know some of the stuff because we won't be having a publisher or a um, subscriber because they both can do sub uh, they both can do su uh, pups up so basically we're going to remove that Alright, and this one as well, okay, that's all we need to do in header, okay, and then we go to the core, the video core, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, video core uh, comp uh, file, and we're going to remove some of these, okay, we're going to remove um, this if statement, okay, we don't need that, we don't need that either, and this will have to, we have to turn it into a diff, okay, it's no longer a video, because the reason being is we cannot, uh, what do you call it, we need to add the video elements inside this div. That's why we're removing these, okay. And let's get rid of these. We don't need these. Okay, and that's all the modification we need to do on uh, on this, okay. And now what we need to do is we go to our uh, app BJS and do our changes here. Okay, the first change is we do not need this anymore. Okay, I won't delete them. Okay, I will just comment them out, comment them out, and we don't need this pub is pub function. Okay, firstly, we'll do some cleanup first. Okay, before we write our code for this lesson, remove that, we'll comment that out. Okay, comment that out, and where else do we use it? Okay, I think that is it. Okay, let's do a search is pub. Okay, this guy here. We don't need this data anymore because we're not passing anything across. Okay, that is it. Okay, the first thing we will make some modification is on our on track. Okay, uh, which is this guy here. Okay, the first thing we need to do here, <clears throat> because since this is a multi-party, that means we're gonna get you know more than one video element. So it makes sense if we put a if statement, okay, before the before it renders the actual component of the um, element, okay. So we do a if statement. So if track kind equals video, then we do all this, okay. Otherwise, we won't do anything, okay. So we move this chunk in here. Okay, the reason being is if we don't do this check, okay, it's going because every um, on track is that means when a publisher comes on, you get two tracks, okay, one is audio, one is video. So if we don't do that, uh, because since we are rendering um, 
uh, not rendering we're adding a new element in in this tutorial so if we don't do that that means it's going to create two elements so you're going to get two windows on every core okay that's the reason why we do this okay and then what we're going to do up here where the on track is we need to grab our video container okay video we'll just call it video container and that is just this part here okay we will put that up there and I'll explain a little to you okay so what we're doing is we're grabbing this reference which is this guy here okay we're grabbing him and I just realized that reference is wrong okay we better change that otherwise we'll be wondering what's going on sorry about that I should have looked properly okay it should be that sub video all right so we re reference that so we don't have to retype you know um, again down the bottom and then we're going to create a new element okay so we can put a new element onto uh, what do you call it on every on track we create a new video element okay we'll call this video el element and it's just standard javascript stuff I'm pretty sure you can do this in uh, another way in uh, VJS, okay? Uh, but I choose to do do this way. It's just easier, okay? And it works, okay? So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna replace all the all of these, okay? With this guy, okay? And we'll comment this out. We don't need this, okay? So now we've got all that, okay? Um, and one more thing we need to add on here is we're going to grab that video container and a pen trial and we stick this video el into it okay so basically what we're doing here every time it on tracks uh, it grabs this container which is this guy here then we're going to create a new video element okay and we're putting this after we're setting all the um, stuff for it like for example the stream and autoplay mute faults and then we will put it in this container that means we we will add a video component in here like that you know like programmatically okay like automatically in the program all right so that's what that is okay so that is done okay that's on track now we will look at the publisher okay we won't bother with this one okay i'll leave it to you as an exercise okay you can do that yourself like removing the video um okay what we're going to do here is the next one is we're going to alter the publisher uh the publish uh, function uh, essentially the same thing okay we're going to grab the we'll put it way up here so we can access it even if we're going to um publish by screen okay container we'll call it the same equals oh, let's copy and paste a eh? bit of a mouthful way eh, to type this one so let's do that and then again cons video uh, el document dot create element video all right so pretty easy isn't it so what we need to do here is we replace this guy here okay and then we're going to um like what we did up up the, up the top so video container actually the publisher we don't need to do that but hey let's do it you know let's make it the same because the publisher will always only have one window so you know it's really pointless you know what what i'm doing right now we could have just kept it as it is before okay hold on i think i spelled trial wrong up here yeah trial okay sorry uh where are we here we go and let's put that video el into the element okay uh you know what <laughs> this is it okay so basically what we're doing is same as what we did above okay we just basically change this so grab grab this um reference this div and then we create a new element uh which is a video element and then we put the stream in there Okay, there's a couple of things we're missing here uh, because uh, in the last video we didn't need it because we put these values in the actual um, element. So in this video, uh, we need to put these in autoplay and control and we'll put it on mute as well because the local, um, which is the publisher, uh, it should be muted. Otherwise you get these crazy echoes, okay, if we don't mute it. So we need to add these three um, 
uh, values in okay and we'll add it down here as well just in case you are going to do oh, I just realized we haven't changed down the bottom so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste all this okay and that's for the screen publishing okay let's do that all right before we start start it up okay there's one more thing we need to do uh, if you saw the last video remember on when when you do when you subscribe um without pushing any button okay if we don't show the controls okay it will not play because you need to manually uh, push the play button um to enable uh, playing of the video because the auto plays will uh, auto play will not work on um, on when, when the user never touches the button okay the auto plays just don't work okay so that is it okay so what we're going to do is we'll just restart the server and do some testing okay okay while that is doing um, its work it's done anyway we need to start our ionsfu okay uh, if you haven't seen the last video, I highly recommend it. Okay, I'm going to put the links down the bottom so you can see the first one. Um, we're going to run it because I already compiled it. Okay, uh, might as well show you eh, while we're here. Uh, what you do is you pull the ionsfu. The link will be down the bottom. Okay, and then once you clone it, okay, you just go go build and dots cmd signal json dash rpc. Uh, slash main.go okay you just compile that uh, that's once that's done you just go main uh, or dot main uh, dash c config dot toml and that's it all right let's start it and let's see how the browser goes okay got two browsers open okay that's where the um what do you call it the servers are and let's do this one as well all right and publish and he's got it as well okay and we publish it back and he's got it as well okay let's do another couple more so prove this is actually working okay that's what i mean see you need to play them okay all right there you go one two three and we have one two three as well and one two three one more okay and if we just go publish i think it should auto play oh no it doesn't okay all right there you go so we've got one two three four okay four pairs okay so this is end of um, this session, okay? And I hope you have learned, um, you know, something out of this. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, there will be many more of this type of tutorials in the plans, okay? And thanks very much, and thanks for your time. So we'll see you, see you again.